Okay, guys, so this is a valve or triode. Okay, so this is what's going to emit the frequency. Okay, so that um, it can go all the way to the electrode and affect the material that you want to weld. Um, but you can't just put this valve and expect to have the right frequency. Okay, so that's why you got to design these tanks to emit the certain frequency that you want to affect the type of material. So basically that's how you just put the triode. So this was a smaller triode. Remember on the last video, there was a different base here. Okay, I don't know where the old base is. So this is the old base that was inside, okay. Because it's for a smaller valve. Okay, and now we put this base right here for this bigger valve. Okay, so we put this new one. We had to adapt it because of this has nothing to do with one base and supports legs with the other. So we had to adapt like we had to do everything custom built. This was the old valve. Like I said, we want to get double output. So look at the compare the size. See? One is almost half the size of the other one. Okay. And um, basically, we have to now make sure that it's in the right frequency, okay, the grill, so that we know what frequency we're working with. So this is an oscillator, right? Absolutely. Okay, this is where we're going to oscillate the frequency so we can turn it back into the press, okay? And now we're going to measure, use this dip meter, okay, that you need this to measure frequencies. This one, you get different um, coils, see? So this one is going 17 to 42, okay? And that is in uh, megahertz. So now we're going to try to find we, the frequency we want. The grid. Of the grid is about, what, 20... 46. 46. The main frequency is 27. The main one is 27, right. So, we're so we're going to try to pick up 27. Okay, so that's the num that's E right there, you see. And as soon as this little needle gives like a, the pulse, a dip, that's you, when you know it's in the right frequency. So we're going to 25 now. There, you see what happened there? Oh, the yeah. needle yeah. just gave a little dip. Maybe you can bring it closer right there. Okay, stay there. I'm trying to do this all together. So this is the sensitivity that you can increase and decrease. Okay, so let's do that again. So we pass in 25 now. And 27, boom. Almost 27, 28 right there, you see. 27. It gives that little dip, you see, there, right there. That means that it's in 27 megahertz. Okay. It's oscillator. The oscillator. Now. The grid. The grid. We're going to measure the grid. It's 45. The grid's got to be like 45. So the oscillator was designed for 27. That's what we want to work with. And now the grid. We're going to see if it's on 46. Now we're going on letter F. It goes from 41 to 110 megahertz. So 46 is now we've got increase sensitivity right there. You probably should bring the camera more right. Okay. Okay, so let's go up. So we got here. We don't have 46, we got about 44, we're going to measure it again, make sure we are more or less doing good contacts, you always got to be sure you're doing a good contact or else it gives you like false readings. So it's a bit of a patience game right here, checking on F. So we got 40, 40, 
45 40 in, between 44 and 45 okay so we'll adjust the grid afterwards okay now it depends on the valve because we aren't going to use this valve this is a used valve okay so it's not working we have to put a new one so after we get the new one in we're going to adjust the grid for the 46 because it's too early so really very close we're between 44 i'll say closer to 45 okay so we we just have to make a little fine tuning very easy to do and that's it that's how you um measure frequencies okay you need these measuring instruments but that's how it works